shake your booties for black girl nerd. The power always lies within our youth, with, whether it's society and now in the world that your characters reside in. Why is there so much um, fear and awe of youth when they're ascending to power like your characters are starting to do at the beginning of The Witcher? Because I suppose you think that you live in a world, you know, you, you trust, you trust a, a, the adults and the... Um, your parents and you know there's there always seems like there's a right and a wrong but for me anyway when I was a kid it seems like a right and a wrong and I think that's why um, that's why it's a scary thing when you when you have power and like, you, you want to use it to the best to the, to the, you know uh, in the best way um, and for, for Yennefer the the power um, it's she, she's completely she doesn't know she has these magical abilities um, and the chaos inside her, and she she doesn't and she needs she doesn't very have a very um, solid stru family structure, and so she doesn't know how to how to harness that. Um, yeah, and, and f yeah. And with uh, with your character Cerulea, she's also discovering her power and what she could potentially be. We're oftentimes told as children that we need to. When we get older, we need to grow up and take things more seriously. But a lot of adults become invested in stories like this with fantasy and elves and all those type of things. Why do you think those types of films and works continue to be so popular? Mostly among adults more so than young people. I think in a way it makes sense that it's mostly among adults because you know, life becomes can become very serious. Mm -hmm. and um, And so to be able to have the escapism of a fantasy book or show or movie um, can allow someone to kind of just be transported to a whole other world and um, I think that's can feel very kind of refreshing um, for someone. With, uh, with any actor or actresses there's a whole process to, to developing your character. In this case you all have a lot of costuming and heavy things that you have to wear. Do you find those things help help you more develop your character or is it the same like any other process that you both go through when you're preparing for a role like for you for ex example you have a lot of things in the beginning of the series that you're wearing and prosthetics and things like yeah. that how did that help or hinder your development it only ever helped me really i there's only you know so much you can imagine i mean i come i love working from movement anyway and i've come um a lot of theatre where I've done, I've been on that process, but w I've never had like a prosthetic like that, or you know, I had a mouth guard as well, and I only ever, you know, my, my whole posture changed. It changed my the whole the, the way I stood without even, um, you know, making that conscious decision. Like it, 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 my voice became a lot smaller, and I felt a lot more scared and. Um, uh, I was uh, I looked at the floor a lot <laughs> and that really helped me and then when I was um, you know with the costume of and the, the, the amount of makeup I had on as at the NFL we all know the, the age we all know and love um, it was I again like I was still hiding behind something but I I you know I had a corset on I stood a lot stronger and um, you know, my spine was straight. It was. It, I was looking people in the eye, so that changed. Yeah, changed a lot for me. So only ever help. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.